Hi, good morning. I'm sure you are very well. Today it is Friday, the 24th day of November. And today we've got the closure mass for the novena for our children. Today it is the last, last day for the exams. Our kids will be sitting for physics practical starting at 8 10 30 and that this is the last paper that means that uh, uh, the last group of the student is going home today so the kids who are in school are those who are doing physics and they'll be doing it from eight so we thank god we thank god for the gift of this day great thanks to god for whatever it is he has done for us and for our kids thanks be to god our gospel passage is taken from luke chapter 19 verses 45 to 48 a reading from the holy gospel according to luke and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold saying to them it is written my house shall be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of robbers and he was teaching daily in the temple the chief priests and the scribes and the principal men of the people sought to destroy him but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people hung upon his words. The Gospel of our Lord. Today's Gospel gives us the dramatic account of Jesus' cleansing of the temple in Jerusalem. He drove out its merchants and money changers with moral indignation at the unjust commercialization of God's house of prayer and the exploitation of the poor pilgrims in the name of religion. The merchants charged exorbitant prices for the animals to be sacrificed, and the money changers ch charged unjust commissions for the required exchange of pagan coins for temple coins. The temple Jesus cleansed was the temple in Jerusalem, originally built by Solomon in the year 966 BC, rebuilt by Zerubbabel in the year 515 BC, after the Babylonians had destroyed it and in jesus day was still being renovated a work begun by king herod the great in the year 20 bc the abuses which infuriated jesus were number one the conversion of a place of prayer into a noisy marketplace and number two the unjust business practices of animal merchants and money changers encouraged by the temple authorities. Hence, Jesus made a whip of cords and drove away the animals, the dealers and the money changers quoting the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. You may want to confer Luke 19.46 and also Isaiah 57 verse 7 and Jeremiah 7.11. Some three informations or messages would stand out on this. Number one, we need to avoid the business mentality of loss and profit in divine worship. Our relationship with God 
must be that of child to parent with no thoughts of loss or gain, but only of mutual love, respect, and the common good. Number two, we need to remember that we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Hence, we have no right to desecrate God's temple by acts of impurity, injustice, pride, hatred, or jealousy. We need to love our parish churches, number three, and use it. Our church is the place where we come together as a community to praise and worship God, to thank Him for His blessings, to ask pardon and forgiveness for our sins, and to receive His offered healing and nourishment. Let us make our church an even more holy place by adding our prayers and songs to community worship and by offering our time and talents in the various ministries of our parishes. And we end this with a question. We need to ask each one of us, how involved are you in your parish church? Especially your home church. All of us have our home church. Others are, some of us are within our home churches, where others are very far from our home churches. It is good to be involved in whatever goes on there. And wherever you are, remember that is your parish where you get daily nourishment. So your full support is there. So, and I think I have I've been able to encourage you several times and to challenge you. Be involved in what happens in your church. If your church has a project, make sure that you have done something. I know I have taught in the past two ways of getting generational blessings. One, supporting children through education. That is, taking care of children in all the other aspect and especially taking them through education. Number two, participating in the work of evangelization by helping the people who do evangelize with your money, with your resources, with your ideas, with everything. The two things that makes you get generational blessings. Please be involved. If there's a project in your parish, be part of it. Even if you are your support is one dollar. Even if your support is one shilling. Even if your support is one euro. Even if your support is one pound. Even if your support is, I don't know. Do something. When you have nothing tactile to give, you've got your ideas and your valued personal and physical presence. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit do have a productive Friday. Thank you. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for your great love and blessing of our lives. Thank you that your favor has no end, but it lasts for our entire lifetime. Forgive us for sometimes forgetting that you are intimately acquainted with all of our ways, that you know what concerns us, and that you cover us with a shield. We ask that we would walk in your blessing and goodness today, that your face would shine on us, that you would open the right doors for our lives and for our loved ones, that you would close the wrong doors and protect us from those we need to walk away from. 
Establish the work of our heart, O Lord, and bring to fulfillment all that you have given us to do in these days. We pray that you would make our way purposeful and our footsteps firm out of your goodness and love. Give us a heart of wisdom to hear your voice and make us strong by your huge favor and grace. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Friday. We meet in the evening, 8.15 East African time, for the Novena Closure Mass. I'm sure by that time, all our kids will be home. Thank you.